Okay, guys, attention, attention. This is a, a emergency broadcast message to all you Mark One people. Do not buy from Mark One Auto House. They, it's a company based out of PA. They have a beautiful website. They used to offer all sorts of hard to get parts and nice odd parts that you can't get anywhere else. Um, they don't seem to be as up and running as they are seeming to be. I, I'm not trying to badmouth the owner. I don't know what the actual story is. I'm seeing mixed answers. Some people say they're able to get a hold of him and get their failed order sorted out. Other people saying there's no answer or they've been waiting three months for a refund and finally got it last week. Uh, I don't recall how the ordering system works. I've only ordered from there like twice. And I, I don't know if they have items on there under back order or out of stock that still let you pay or if there's like an expected restock time or if the inventory is just flat out wrong altogether. I'm not going to order and find out. I'm not going to try to call because even when I placed my order, I had a small issue, not even worth talking about, uh, something that eventually got fixed, but it took me like two weeks to get a hold of the the, uh, the owner of the company. Um, in the past, that's kind of how they've always been. It's I, uh, I think it's a one or two man show, so uh, the response times never have been anything, you know, super fast. They don't seem to be shipping orders out. They seem to be even worse with their, with their communication and, and People have been posting in the Mark 1 group, hey, has anybody ordered these parts? I ordered them like a month ago and I haven't gotten them. And somebody will chime in and say, yeah, I had to wait this long for it. Or I eventually got a refund because he just never told me when I was getting it. Most importantly, guys, if you are if you have an ordering process and you're suddenly now like, oh shit, I'm going to go get a refund. Uh, not that I expect that there's a ton of you, but... If you have an order in place and you're going to go for a refund, please be respectful, understanding, and patient. I haven't seen anybody, to my knowledge at least, uh, sorry if you're still waiting for a refund for who knows how long, but from what I've seen, everybody who chimed in about a previous refund said it, it took a little bit, but they eventually got it. However many of you, if any of you at all, are going to shoot over there and start processing, processing a refund and start hammering them with emails and phone calls, uh, don't do that, you know, be respectful and patient about how you go about doing it, please. Uh, I don't want to make whatever problems this person might be going through even worse. I haven't personally seen anything super crazy that would warrant some kind of flocking and, and mob lynching type mentality. So, um, anyways, I, I don't mean, I really don't mean to jump on here and put out to all my subscribers, like, don't buy from this store. Uh, but just save yourself the hassle until we know more of what's happening or what is going to happen with that company. It, it's it's a shame. Um, you know, go on the website. I still encourage you to go look at the website. Just don't buy anything. Uh, last I checked, it's still up. Beautiful site, nice categories, tons of cool parts, and not just Mark ones either. So it's kind of a, it's kind of sad to see that it what's happening lately or the stories that have been coming out about that place, but. Hopefully uh, it gets sorted or at least we get a, a clearer answer of what they think is going to happen with the company. So sorry, I know I'm, I'm all over the place right now, uh, but I just got home from work. I'm actually packing my bags to get on a plane to Iowa tomorrow. So I'm very excited to show you guys that when we get there. Um, I haven't spoken too much about it, uh, except for to some immediate friends. They know what's going on, but very cool. I'll give you guys a hint that I sold the Passat. And, um, yeah, I, I sold the, I sold the daily driver 04 Passat wagon that I had. I wanted to do a, another video of that car because just the condition that it was in for being in the Northeast with the miles that it had and as clean as I eventually saw it was underneath in terms of rust and, and how great that car ran that video, I, that car deserved a video, just blessing the 1.8 T giving it some praise and, and credit like it deserves. And that platform, the B5, B5 and a half Passats, there's, there's some of the best cars Volkswagen have ever made. Uh, I finally got to own this one, uh, unfortunately for a short period, shorter period than I was hoping, but these cars come and go and that something popped up for sale that has been on like my list for quite some time, but you never ever see them for sale. And when they do come up for sale, they're usually in disarray. So, uh, this one seems to be pretty clean and I kind of had to jump on it, but that's gone. Uh, 
so yeah, I'm going to finish packing. Uh, I'm, I'm in a, a frenzy right now. I just have been seeing more and more posts. And then just now somebody put up a uh, shout out to Bill, uh, put up a post tagging the admins like, hey, we, we need to pin these posts talking about Auto House because there's a lot of people, you know, getting getting frustrated with them. So 